ยาตาจ้าสมรอดิเชนเซเรคอนซองอาบะชินบุกกับเนซุนเดเอเนกันเดพอรังอุญเนนีกันเลกยางกุนริมจุงกีตาลุญิทุงเกเชยาจีกี
Hand-keeping uh, is very important. As you might know, recently the news coming from Tibet uh, clearly indicate that more restrictions are imposed uh, during this holy month. Clearly, uh, by now after 50 plus years, the Chinese leadership ought to realize that the uh, hardline policies that they have been imposing on the Tibetan people has not worked because from 80s to 90s to 2008, various forms of protest have taken place in Tibet. And recently, self-immolation, the most dramatic, drastic form of protest have also taken, plate, uh, taken place, culminating in 130 uh, self-immolators, of which 112 have died, sadly, that clearly shows that even after 60 years of occupation, the third generation of Tibetans are in the streets protesting against the occupation and hardline policies of the Chinese government. I hope the new Chinese leadership under Xi Jinping and Li Keqing will realize that the hardline policies are not working and review policies on Tibet and then uh, implement more liberal policies so that we could find a peaceful solution uh, to the issue of Tibet. Middle way approach means is the middle of repression and separation. We all know there is an ongoing repression in Tibet. There is political repression, social discrimination, economic marginalization, cultural assimilation, environmental destruction, and others. Now, all this repression are making Tibetans more resentful of the Chinese government policies and towards the Chinese government. Hence, various forms of protests are taking place in Tibet. Now, to end this repression is of primary interest of the Chinese government and the Tibetan uh, people. Because by ending the repression and by granting genuine autonomy for the Tibetan people, it will bring stability for China and also what they say, their paramount interest, that is sovereignty and territorial integrity of China will not be challenged. Hence, middle way approach is a win-win proposition for both the parties. I hope the Chinese leadership will heed to our call and uh, accept middle way as a win-win proposition for both the parties. So because of these reasons, we have launched this campaign. Now, Digi uh, Chanla will show you uh, some of our documents and the uh, video. Thank you. 
gentlemen, we would like to screen to you a eight minute video that Department of Information and International Relations has prepared for Umelam. The middle way approach, Umelam as we call it in Tibetan, is a peaceful means of conflict resolution. It's based on principles that we can all relate to, nonviolence, dialogue, interdependence. And in any situation of conflict, it seeks to find a resolution that is mutually beneficial and addresses the interest of all the key parties involved in the conflict. In Tibet today, the reality is there is political repression, social discrimination, economic marginalization, environmental destruction, cultural assimilation. On a daily basis, we hear painful stories coming from inside Tibet. And it concerns every Tibetan and also raises the question, how can we alleviate the sufferings of Tibetans as soon as possible? How to replace political repression with basic freedom, economic marginalization with economic opportunities, environmental destruction with environmentally sustainable policies, social discrimination with social equality, cultural assimilation with cultural preservation. We have to solve the issue of Tibet through dialogue. The Middle Way approach was conceived by His Holiness the Dalai Lama Following the People's Republic of China's occupation of Tibet in 1959, His Holiness was forced to flee to India, and 80,000 Tibetans followed him across the Himalayas. In the early years of exile, the Tibetan leadership sought to restore Tibet's independence. However, the international context of the time and the deteriorating situation inside Tibet called for a more pragmatic and realistic solution, the Middle Way approach. In 1997, through a resolution in the Tibetan parliament in exile, the middle way approach was unanimously adopted as the official position of the central Tibetan administration based in India, which is the democratically elected representative body of the Tibetan people. At that time, Ding Xiaoping stated, the question of independence, we cannot discuss. We cannot negotiate on that, on that point. Beside that, everything open, we can discuss. The Middle Way approach has enabled us to establish direct contact between the Tibetan leadership and the Chinese government. Since 1979, because of our adopting the Middle Way approach, we've been able to send several delegations to Tibet. Since then, several rounds of Sino-Tibetan talks have been held, culminating in 2008 with the presentation of the Memorandum on Genuine Autonomy for the Tibetan people to the Chinese leadership. This was followed in 2010 by the presentation of a note on the memorandum. The memorandum details the Tibetan people's vision of autonomy and self-governance. It defines the basic needs to be addressed to enable the preservation of key aspects of Tibetan identity, such as language, culture, religion, education, and environmental protection, to name a few. It is entirely based on the uh, provisions of the uh, Constitution of People's Republic of China and also the uh, autonomy law. We have not asked anything uh, which is out of the provision of the constitution and the law. Medieval approach is applicable to uh, any conflict in the world, right from the uh, conflict within the family or within the community or within the nations. It is not uh, uh, seeking one side winner or the other side loser, so that uh, both sides can be satisfied when the solution is found.
Different countries around the world have demonstrated that the autonomy sought by Tibetans is possible. For example, Nunavut in Canada, Greenland and the Faroe Islands in Denmark, South Tyrol, Trentino in Italy, and Aceh in Indonesia. It has also enabled us to maintain a Tibetan presence in several countries, and key amongst these countries is India, where we find the largest number of Tibetans in exile and also where the Central Tibetan Administration is based. Because the middle way approach is grounded in the reality that we find in Tibet today, world leaders such as President Obama and Archbishop Tutu can openly support our efforts. A growing number of Chinese individuals, including Nobel Peace Laureate Liu Xiaobo, are increasingly aware and support the middle way approach. This is very important because ultimately, no matter how much international support we have, finding a lasting, peaceful, and acceptable solution to the situation inside Tibet will come down to the Tibetan and Chinese people. For most of history, Tibetan and Chinese people have coexisted peacefully, so we do have a precedent in that regard. China aspires to become a world leader and it will have the moral authority to match its economic and political presence by demonstrating to the international community that it can peacefully and sustainably address the situation inside Tibet. We are willing to not seek separation from China because to have genuine autonomy for Tibetans is to restore basic freedom of the Tibetan people. When the Tibet issue is resolved, it will fulfill the aspirations of Tibetans in Tibet. It will fulfill the legacy of the elder generation and dreams of all those people who have left us. That will be the day when Tibetans will have their identity and dignity restored. That will be one of the best stories of the 21st century. The middle way uh, approach is the most sensible and pragmatic way. I support the middle way approach. I support the middle way approach. This kind of approach can potentially serve as an inspirational model for many conflict areas in different parts of the world. It's grounded in a, a real appreciation of the complexity of today's world. I support the middle way approach. This is a practical way to have freedom on the ground in the United Tibet. I support the middle way approach because it allows for the Tibetan inhabited areas within the People's Republic of China to be under a single administration and have meaningful autonomy. I support middle way approach. This is an idea whose time is coming. We have now another campaign instrument to propagate Umelam, which is the launch of Middle Way Approach campaign website, www.middlewayapproach.org or www.tibet.net slash MWA. I request uh, Dr. Losan Singhi, our Sijong, to officially launch this website.
Now it's officially launched. Some applause. <laughs> and in meanwhile, I request our Kalun, Mr. Kishoyan, to explain about this website and its working, and also brief the press about middle way policy document and social media campaign. Umelang <laughs> Si chojojik chuna samne dus mixe tagajik dus tadi shubre tada tagadi kei du tadzo tanda kei ngazo gunde nashi tikzugi tagad nashi inji chi pui kei yimbachi tadari mixe mandavachik ngazo yija ka sum tadi shubadi ngazo Italian French German the Spanish Kenane Tadishuas Shuai. That the name Gangne Sibina, that under the Puig Taganane Tevina. The Gangne Tanda Yicha Siata, Lonya Siata, Logu, Chorim, Tanjevegi, Dusmixe, Tadishuare. The Nane, that's also Jabju Yervina, the name so so. Email ki kajang da sheba anda toy gap sa yowe chi. And then ma tspe be na wa den si kyong chow ki ngule si ka she ji do sna yo je. And then yik cha ngan zo yik cha ka sum jik tan da ning du ume lam se ya di ning du ngo jo yik cha ji yin. Ni wa di ume lam ki chiwa chile jik chi. And ni sum ba di da chong rim Nabjungagune Tabar to Kandis Chuyomegi Seshechi. She said in Namazo Tandabato, Tizugi, Umelam Tan Devegi, Yija Kakashechi, Tadi Shuvedi, Tadi Nambadi, Tane Mazudus, Tadi Ningdu, Sicho Joshi, Tadi Nambre, Dinane Nandu, Tadi Yaman Nashiranja in Bachi, there's Chik Ningdu, she sideoji, those Tadi Shuvedi. And then Mats Pevena, that the name Mazo Umelam said the Chorim, those Logu, Machu 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 Gune, Tandaba, Dochi, and in Mats Ma Pevena, that Umelam La Gabjo Nambena, Candes Gabjo Nanguyome, those the name Mazo Tone, those Asamzo Kajeji, those Iktola. So, if I say a few words in English, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for taking the time uh, to be here with us today. I know that some of you have come all the way from Delhi. Uh, this launch is very important to the Central Tibetan Administration because the policy, the middle way approach is really um, the, the basis of all our efforts to find a solution to the situation inside Tibet. The uh, Central Tibetan Administration has an official uh, website, uh, tibet.net, but we felt that given the importance of this policy, we really wanted to make it easy for people to be able to read documents, watch videos, and also look at uh, uh, frequently asked questions, the key documents related to the middle way uh, approach. So we decided to have this special website. Uh, this is going to be regularly updated. Um, if you, we, I walk you quickly through the key sections. Uh, here on the top banner is watch uh, for videos related to 
um, the middle way approach. Uh, since this is a policy that the CTA has had uh, for several decades, uh, we do have a series of videos that uh, need to be better known and we have this new uh, eight minute uh, video as well. And then in the read, uh, we have uh, the three uh, new documents that we've prepared. Uh, one is a briefing document uh, and then the second one is a chronology of the middle way uh, approach. And then thirdly is a frequently asked questions. In the read section, we also find other key documents such as the memorandum on genuine autonomy which was presented by envoys of the Dalai Lama back in 2008 uh, as well as the note that followed the memorandum in 2010. And then here, uh, this is the FAQ and then in the press section uh, you'll find um, a link to the three documents but also today's uh, press release and uh, also a fact sheet on environment and then we'll keep adding materials as the uh, middle way uh, approach uh, campaign unfolds. And then here we have a red tab to invite people to join our campaign. Uh, what is very particular about this campaign is we really want to put an emphasis on social media. Uh, this is for several reasons. Um, you know, unlike the Chinese government, we have limited resources, but we are very fortunate to have a tremendous uh, amount of goodwill throughout the world, thanks largely to His Holiness. But we want to uh, call on all our friends around the globe uh, to help us make sure that the government, civil society, media, uh, diplomats all have the correct information as to where the Central Tibetan Administration as well as His Holiness Dalai Lama stand on the issue of Tibet, that we're not seeking independence but genuine autonomy within the framework of China. So this um, website, uh, we have it in Tibetan, Chinese, uh, and then the three documents we've translated into four additional documents which are also available on this website, Italian, French, German, and Spanish. So here we have a, a brief introduction, and then if I walk you through, this is basically the chronology document, it's a timeline, and then here we have a tab for the achievements and then the international support. At the bottom of this page, we have a call to action, uh, suggestions if people wish to join, uh, how they can help us. Uh, we've also set up a Facebook and Twitter uh, page and uh, we uh, plan on being very active uh, in social media. So uh, this is a, a quick walk through our, um, our website. Um, I think that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them during Q&A. Next, we have question and answer session for the media persons. And as is the norm, I request the media person to uh, uh, identify the press and also yourself when you ask question. Now the floor is open for the press. Minister uh, Narendra Modi, uh, I think the policy towards uh, Tibet and the treatment of the Tibetan people will remain uh, same. That's uh, what we hope because uh, India uh, has
had BJP-led government before, and Congress-led and the other parties have also led the government, their policy towards Tibet have remained the same. So we expect and we hope that Narendra Modi ji will continue the same policy because India has done the most for Tibetan people. The largest number of Tibetans are in India. Tibetan administration is also based here in Dharamsala in India, for which we are very, very grateful. Now, with the visit of the Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi soon, and hopefully, according to media accounts, Chinese President Xi Jinping might visit uh, India at the end of this year. As far as Tibetan administration is concerned, we always welcome good relationship between India and its neighboring countries and countries around the world. Because what is good for India, we feel it will be good for Tibetan people as well. We hope that when Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi comes here, he will uh, cherish the greatness of India, that is unity in diversity. India is a country with many ethnicities, many languages, and many people. Yet, India remains united because the underlying foundation of India is freedom and democracy. So, in that sense, the Tibet issue or the challenge faced by the Chinese government is also how to treat or deal with Tibetans who are ethnically, linguistically different from Han Chinese. So the Indian policy of unity and diversity has worked well for India. Similarly, Chinese government should learn a lesson and hopefully uh, look at Tibetans and treat Tibetans uh, the way the Indian government does to different uh, ethnic and linguistic groups of people in India. Mike, please. Mike, please. A follow up to the same question. Um, will there be any, is there any contact between the CTA and the uh, government of Burundi really around this visit? And will there be any requests made by the, the CTA that uh, the Tibetans should be raised in the meetings? I think the Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji's government is very new, um, and I'm sure uh, from all accounts, they're very busy uh, establishing themselves. And as far as Tibetan uh, people and Tibet issues is concerned, I think people in the new government of India are quite familiar with, for example, the National Security Advisor, Ajib Dobalji, uh, Foreign Minister, Susma Swarajji, and other ministers from Home Minister uh, to various others, other ministers are very familiar uh, with the issue of Tibet. So uh, we hope that when the Chinese leadership make their presentation on the issue of Tibet, which is likely often they say that Tibet is one of the core issues. If that is the case, India has all the reasons to say Tibet is one of the core issues for India as well. Given the importance of Tibet's environment uh, for India, in particular South Asia and Southeast Asia, because Tibet being the third pole and source of fresh water for the whole region uh, is vital uh, for the area. And also from geopolitical angle, given the boundaries um, between uh, you know, uh, India and different countries, particularly with Tibet, is one of the longest. So Tibet is vital from geopolitical point of view, environmental point of view, and especially from cultural point of view, Tibet and uh, 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 India always had very close affinity. For these various reasons, um, I hope uh, when the Chinese make the representation that Tibet is one of the core issues, India could also say Tibet is one of the core issues as well and bring it on the table and have discussion on the issue, on how best to solve the issue, which we believe is peacefully through dialogue. Uh, Thank you very much for the questions. Of course, we have other one-to-one -one, uh, interviews with Sichong, so we will.
conclude our official press conference here. And uh, members of the press from our station are re requested to join us uh, with us for lunch at one o'clock. And then tonight at seven o'clock, there is a cultural show at Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts. All of you are welcome to witness the Tibetan cultural show. And once again, I would like to thank all the members of press who have come from Delhi and also our friends here in Dharamsala who have extended their cooperation so very well all the time when we have any such press conference. Uh, ยากหันจิทะเบยงเยกิอันนี้ทุนยุนายะดิอันนี้เอ่อตะทุลบาเวเนตินจิเรชาเซชวยดิซัมลาอันนี้ดิเอ่อชาซดุมบายะอันดอ